All right, uh, well, you know, we're not going to big on fancy speech or anything like that, but, you know, a lot of changes have taken place in the last 50 years. Uh, some good, some bad, and some things are just different. Uh, we don't speak anymore, we just tweet. And, uh, you know, there's not much need for English anymore, just abbreviations. We've gone from Hi-Fi to Wi-Fi, from GTO to ITO, RBI to MRI, DNA to HMA, X-ray to Blu-ray, Notebook to Facebook, Maytag to Hashtag, and then we have LOL, LMAO, ELO, BTW, BFF, TTYL, OEPA, ATM, TTIF, LY, CEXD, XP, DVD, DVR, HDMI, HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, DSCP, CYA, USB, LGBT, and WTF. <laughs> so, with all those abbreviations, there's been talk about even eliminating English from the curriculum. <laughs> and he just will become a second language. But anyway, uh, about education, you know, we've, uh, you know, we've got old math, you know, and there's new math, and there's no child left behind, and core curriculum, and TCAP, K through 12, pre-K through 12, and I think they're heading for cradle through 12 now. You'll see articles in the paper and opinions about that all the time. And when I hear all that garbage, I remind them that the old math and the, the, the three R's and the stuff that we grew up with and the people just before us that grew up with, those people who had even less than we did, they're the ones that put a man on the moon. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the, the way we did So, uh, you know, That's our, our recognition of our 50 years. Like I said, it's hard to cover 2,500 years in a small amount of time, but uh, we did, I did think about, uh, you know, we, we didn't have any teachers uh, to join us, but uh, I thought, well, you know, I know we have a lot of fond memories of those teachers, characters uh, that we uh, had to put up with every day, and, I got to looking around on the internet and I, uh, I saw this uh, thing of all things, uh, uh, Clint Eastwood and Manti Teo got together and worked on this iPhone app where you could uh, call up people and talk to them. I mean, you know, you remember uh, a few years ago in the Republican uh, primary or National Commission, Clint Eastwood talked to an empty chair, communicated with somebody and then uh, the man Tao, the football player, he had the fictitious girlfriend that he communicated with. So, strangely enough, they got this uh, this iPhone app, which we can use and possibly call up some of our, of our old teachers. So, I thought we'd give it a try. Uh, now, it's, it's, it's a thing where. It's a way. Yeah, you better be glad you're here, trust me. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll be able to see them and talk to them and communicate with them, but I need a, uh, uh, somebody that can hear them. It's kind of a beta test uh, app here, and I, I need somebody that has had, had experience being a medium. Has anybody get ever done it? Jerry, you been, been a medium? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh large. Maybe, we can, maybe, maybe we can do this. Yeah, you are kind of large for a medium. <laughs> so I'll give you the, you'll be able to interpret what they say instead of tell everybody what they say. Let me get a chair.
have the magic sarah. Okay, okay. We'll try this. <laughs> So, uh, like I say, you think we do this? Okay. <laughs> All right. So we, we turn on the app here and start it up. You know, I think I see somebody coming up. Wait just a minute here, hold on. Uh, step right up here, little buddy. Come be now. It's Mr. Rochelle. Uh, right over here. For those of you who don't know him, he was our principal. Uh, so anyway, uh, speak up. I invented the term stop by Rochelle. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Rochelle, hey, it's good to be here. How you been? Been well, you? Uh, well, I think so. Uh, you recognize any of these characters out there? A lot of characters. Uh, Lots of characters. Yeah? Any of you like to forget? Most of them. <laughs> yeah? Well, I can understand that. Uh, well, did you take that big panel with you? Uh, when you cross over to the other side? Never left my side. I never leave your side. Okay. Well, all right, that's kind of scary. I hope it's not waiting for us when we get there. The law will be waiting for you, Jack. <laughs> uh, you know, your, your reputation preceded you at Cone. Uh, I think you had a nickname. What, what was that? I believe uh, behind my back they call me the Little Rock Bonaparte. Little Rock Bonaparte. Yeah, I seem to remember that. Uh, yeah, it was kind of scary to go to Cone. I mean, I, when I was in grammar school and walked by the school every day, all, I mean, all I saw was hoodlums and ducktails and hot rods and cigarettes rolled up the sleeve and Swiss blades. So, you know, it was kind of scary. I grew up down around St. Anne's and they were real friendly down there playing with the Catholic boys. I kind of wanted to go to Ryan, but uh, anyway, the, the guys were friendly and the priests were especially friendly. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, who, who's your uh, favorite teacher, Mr. Rochelle? Um, let me think. Uh, mostly the tall ones. The tall ones. <laughs> I understand. Well, who is your favorite office worker? Well, we had one that we never could get out of the office, Vivian Wright. Vivian Wright, yeah. Well, she, she's still here with us, and she, you know, she she's always... We couldn't get her out. Yeah, no, she was a good office worker. Uh, anybody else? that you remember was a kind of a special character? Uh, there was one uh, kind of a strange guy, never quit talking, uh, called him Zippy. Zippy? Zippy. Yeah. Cow. Oh, cow yeah. oh, oh, is that the one they call a missing link? The missing link. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody else? Well, there was this horror guy that everybody thought was a real special guy, but he was really a troublemaker. <laughs> well, I guarantee you Jimmy Warman would have to be behind all that. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, any other characters? Well, there was this male kid. Uh, he was in the office so much for going to put his name on the door. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I think he survived, though. Barely. Uh, anybody else? Uh, some some ornery characters or something. Well, there was one more grumpy guy that I don't think ever smiled. His name was Bess. Bess, yeah. <laughs> well, he's still around and he, he hasn't changed a bit, so, you know. I'm, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm glad you remember him, Mr. Rochelle. You know, uh, we always enjoyed all those assemblies and uh, those long speeches you used to make and for hours and hours and speaking and speaking and words and words. 
Nobody ever understood a word you said. Nobody fell asleep. And we was wondering the other day, did your arms ever get tired doing this? I suspect they did. Uh, you know, I'm looking at something here. Hold on. Frank, come here. I know you can walk faster than that. You can go to the next tee faster than that. Let me look here a second. Take your glasses off. It's amazing. Are these your sons? Is this your daddy? Oh, okay. Well, they don't claim me, I'm sorry. There's a resemblance in there somewhere. All right, anyway, thank you, Mr. Rochelle. We appreciate you coming. And, uh, you know, try to not paddle anybody when we get there. We're waiting for you. <laughs> okay, let's see who else we got. Let's see if somebody else will come up here. Somebody coming up here. Uh, it looks like it's uh, Mrs. Miss Hetherington. Everybody remember Miss Hetherington? Mm. Well, you know, uh, hi. She, glad to, how are you? Glad you could be here. I'm glad to be here. Uh, you recognizing these characters out there? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any of them you like to forget? Most of them, yeah. Okay. You know, you look pretty good for 400 years old. 4,000 years old? Wow. I never was man. That, that's a long time. That's amazing. What's been your secret to your longevity? It involves uh, I knew toe frog. I knew toe frog. Yeah. Well, it, it seems to have served you well. Uh, tell me, all those years, did you ever marry? Married several times. Uh, Jack Ripper was one. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Hunt was one of my favorites. Uh, uh, Wow. That's quite a cast of characters. Yeah, that's quite a cast of characters, I tell you. Well, uh, in all those years, did you have any children? No, I kind of shut that down. You know, how it goes. Oh, yeah. I heard a woman's body has a way of shutting that thing down. Yeah. That's been in the news here. Uh, uh, well, tell me, tell me this, you've seen so much history, Doug. Can you tell us, did William Shakespeare actually write all those plays? Yes, he did. He was like a magic in one uh, that he wrote. Oh, really? What, what character are you playing? Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth. <laughs> well, that kind of that sums it up right there. That's, you got to probably do a good role of that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to figure out the spot. Out, 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 out. Yeah. Um, well, you know, if you've lived all our years, we, we wondered about a lot of things in history. How come you never told us the uh, secrets of Stonehenge? Well, the classes I had, particularly in class of 64, was the girls were interested in boys, the boys were interested in girls, there was music. Road. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've heard all that. We don't need to hear it again. Just get on out of here and tell Will hello when you get back on there. <laughs> I have a question for Miss Heather. Yeah. Oh, is, was that your mother? I heard, I heard a rumor. I don't know if it's a true story, but uh, an interchange between Miss Harrington and Jerry Mayo. Yeah. Miss Harrington told Jerry, Jerry, if you were my son, I'd give you poison. <laughs> if they told your son to drink it. <laughs> Just leave it to the spontaneous. Yeah. Okay, well, we got about time for one more. Let's see who we get this time. I think I see somebody coming. You might need some help. Hold on. Oh. 
No, is, it, is that comfortable for you? Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Uh, anybody guess who that is? George Morton. <laughs> I can't believe your memory's going. Uh, Brother George, you know you're, you're, you're responsible for all that titanium out there in the audience. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, uh, it seems that uh, from what all the guys tell me that, uh, you know, all those workouts, head-ons, uh, tackles, no water, salt pills, running the alley, the dungeon, and all that stuff, it took a toll uh, on, on everybody. Yeah. Yeah, well, they may, some of them may think to differ about that right now, but anyway, I mean, take for example, uh, Jim Baird back there. Well, somebody help Jim understand that. I mean, he was once a, a fine specimen of an athlete. He was all city, all state, all everything, to play every sport. Quarterback, good quarterback. I mean, you know, he's just a, the, the, the goddess of manly health. And now poor Jim's reduced to playing Farmville on Facebook. So, that's what you did, Brother George, Brother Jim back there. Well, I know he probably, uh, he probably did repent after all those years what you put those boys through. I, I saw you later on in years going to church and, and repenting. Uh, so I guess they'll forgive you. Uh, you know, by the way, I, I, I seem to recall something uh, about a disease you had uh, all your life. Uh, yeah. some, something about, you know, when you when you were born, they switched up your it formula. Awful. Yeah, it was awful. And they switched up your formula. They got the wrong thing in your formula with some, uh, some ingredient. Do you remember what that was? No acetal. No acetal, <laughs> yeah. I think they banned that from the market now. And uh, I, I know you suffered and, uh, suffered for a long time with that. And you had quite a few nicknames as a result of it. Do you remember some of those nicknames? Well, they used me wearing, I was wearing my gambling pants because it looked like I lost my ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember that now. I remember seeing those gambling pants. Um, well, you know, you know, I know you did at least one good thing at home when you were there. You were the driver's ed teacher. And I've heard reports that you had those cones spaced so closely in the parallel parking that people got so good at parallel parking. Marcy Taylor won the state championship in Michigan for a parallel parking in 1978. So uh, we, we appreciate you coming anyway and uh, try, try, to, try to get back out of here before some of these guys tackle you and, and make you go through what you made them through. Uh, all right, well, Thank you, Mr. Medium, for interpreting, and uh, we'll try this again someday. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm sure there are. Uh, there are many other characters, teachers that uh, everybody would have some stories about. Yeah, we probably don't have any, much time to go uh, <laughs> through any of them. But if anybody has a you know funny story they want to tell about a teacher, uh, like Steve just said a while ago, uh, you know, he might as welcome to make any comments. Have any takers? Yeah, everybody remember Mr. Cathcart. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I don't remember much about this. I remember seeing him, but uh, I remember Miss Sullivan, the chemistry teacher. Uh, I think between she and Darlin Arlen and I, we probably learned every explosive ever made. Um, okay, well, that about, that about wraps up anything I have to say. We're going to have uh, uh, Mr. Kevin Levine. He's going to play some good old time. 1963-64 uh, music from our era and it's made a comeback because even my grandchildren like that kind of music now. Uh, so remind everybody about coming tomorrow at 1 o'clock and uh, Prince for Sale or the DVD or CD, Mr. Dan. Prince for Sale outside. Anybody else have anything? I've got, got one. Uh, I'll 
Yes. We may have some more music up, up there. Uh, Mr. Dan brought his banjo. I'm sorry he made me. <laughs> well, I brought my guitar. If anybody wants to sing, they're welcome to. Uh, but before we uh, get into the DJ, let's get the all the committee members over here for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> 